Hello, everyone, and welcome to Danica Marie and our dope discussions. Let's just go ahead and hop right up into this, okay? Because I'm gonna let y'all know right now, when the crown head Leo, shout out to Leo, uh, sent me over this link for us to review, I was thoroughly annoyed and irritated. See, this clip right here that I'm getting ready to share with you all is the main reason why men are checked out and done, especially with dating. For what? See, a lot of you chicks out there, you just want to use him, take advantage, see what you can milk out of him and then discard of him. And see, a lot of y'all are out there doing that, thinking that you're winning, thinking that you're getting one over and off. But all y'all are doing is creating a disastrous domino effect when it comes to the real authentic women that are out here really seeking a genuine connection with the man. See, there are real authentic women out there that would love to establish a strong, healthy foundation and connection with the man. Genuinely, sincerely. She's not out here just to see what she can get out of him and then discard of him. No, she really desires a true love connection. But y'all messed that up. Why? Because so many men are out here thinking that y'all are just like this female right here. The oyster lady. Y'all like the video, share the video, and subscribe. See, a lot of you females are pathetic. Let's put it plain. Y'all are pathetic. Broke, lonely, desperate. I hope y'all got time today because we got to break this all the way down. I'm tired of y'all ruining it for a lot of good quality women. Uh, because you ain't about nothing. Just because you have terrible intentions. Y'all are pathetic. This female had no genuine interest whatsoever in this guy that she is going to let you know that she left on red and he was talking to himself, which again, brother, why are you doing that to yourself? Have some standards, have some pride. If a female is not giving you any attention, uh, she's not interested. Move around. Okay, let's put that out there first things first. But nonetheless, you have these broke down females out here, bored, lonely, hungry, looking for a quick come up. So he's in her DMs, talking to her, trying to get to know her. She's not interested in him. But then one day she's like, hmm, I'm bored. I'm hungry. Let me try to finesse a meal. And unfortunately, a lot of you chicks are out here doing this, which is really messing up the dating scene. See, as a married woman myself, I want other women around me to be able to experience the bliss, the comfort, the luxury, the privilege of being able to share your life, your highlight moments with somebody that really loves you, values you, cares about you, will provide for you, protect you, do anything that you need, right? Within reason, of course. I want women to be able to experience that and explore that. But I already know that since a lot of women are out here just being cutthroat, just being finessers and users and really poisoning the minds of a lot of men out there from even wanting to date women, quality or not, it's just not going to happen. It's so bad. Men don't even date y'all anymore at all. They're not going on dates. Men are like, no, I'm going to save my money because what's the use in going out Spending all this time with this chick and she probably don't even like you like that. Again, maybe she's just hungry and bored. Spending all this money and you, you'll probably never see her again. For what? 
makes no sense. And then y'all just completely taint the entire market for even the good quality women. And again, y'all are pathetic for that. I can't stand y'all for that. Y'all are trash. The reason why men today are no longer dating and are checked out is because the females today are trash. And y'all make a real bad name for real, authentic, quality women. Let's get into this, you all. Y'all like the video, share the video, and subscribe. So today I linked with this nigga I met a few weeks ago out with my friends. This nigga been texting me for weeks talking to himself. Why I didn't block him? Bitch, I don't know. But today I was bored and I had time. So he texts me like, can we meet for drinks? And I'm like, yeah, meet me here. They got the best fucking oysters in Atlanta, like hands down. So I'm like, yes, I can get some content. Come on. I'm so good. Yeah, when the fourth one came out, he was looking at me crazy. I didn't give a fuck. I'm like, baby, you invited me out. I'm gonna eat, and I was coming anyway. But I ain't gonna lie. No, I wouldn't have did all that, but I did do all that. That was so good. I was not expecting it to be that good. Oh it was just so good. Like, I just, I had to. It was so good. So after that, I'm like, baby, mm, what's next? What am I about to eat? These potatoes, mm, they were so good. And the crab cakes, everything was so good. 10, 10, baby. Why the fuck this bitch ass nigga say he going to the bathroom and never come back? Oh. The fuck? I'm like, hold the fuck on. It's been like 10, 20, 30 minutes, bitch. What the fuck this nigga at? Had to end up grabbing a tab, bitch. Nigga left me with his little one fucking drink. Yeah, bitch. I'm so glad bitch keep me some money. Because what? That was crazy to me. Hold on. I would have left you too. First things first, <laughs> you're out here on a drink date. Now, again, you can order your appetizers or whatever the case may be just to get a little snack in while you talk and chop it up and get to know this person. That's fine. But you did entirely too much. Even you, ma'am, admitted that you did too much and you probably wouldn't have done that had you been by yourself. See, you thought that you were going to finesse. You thought that you were going to be able to get him to pick up the tab. But he said, oh, okay, I see what she's on. She's just here to get a free meal. Then on top of that, you're out here slurping and, you know, just uh, inhaling the damn oysters. There was nothing ladylike about what you did. I mean, the whole thing was just tacky, trashy, disgusting. And like I said before, irritating. See, he peeped game on you. That's what had happened. That's why he left. He peeped game. He was like, oh, she's one of those. And then on top of that, you're spending more time eating than talking? <laughs> Lord. But I really want you all to hone in on the fact that she said, well, you know, I know I, I wouldn't have did all that, but, you know, I did do all of that. In so many words saying, like, if I was by myself, I wouldn't have done all of this. But since it's on his tab, so she thought, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and run it up. She ordered, what, four of those platters of oysters? And then on top of that, ordered another meal? which consisted of, what was it, potatoes and crab cakes and the drinks. This is why men don't date anymore. This is why they're running out on the bill. Because they're seeing early, oh, yeah, this is going to be a headache and a huge bill and liability for me. 
Ma'am, you are trash. You are absolutely trash. I would have left too. Like, damn, she's she got it. Is she on a date with me or the oysters? Lord. And I said, bitch, you run out on the tab. He's talking about I'm offering you to drink. The fuck are you talking about? Hold on. So it says um running out on a tab is crazy. No, he didn't run up on the tab. He ran off on a liability, which is you. He said, I offered to take you out for drinks and you ordered all that food. He said, I can cash out the total for the drinks. <laughs> Lord, hold on. Bitch. Mm, but he, now he's a B word. Now he's a B word. But you were the one that were trying to finesse. So who's really the B word, ma'am? And it's really pathetic and a shame. Because, again, men can really have uh, pure intentions on getting to know you, developing and uh, establishing a, a connection, a relationship, you know? But look at what a lot of these chicks are out here doing. She didn't even like him. Like, let's really peep the game. She didn't even like him. She said she left him on red for weeks. Then when she got bored and hungry... And thought about her favorite place to get oils. And she was like, oh, okay. This is the perfect opportunity to go ahead and finesse. I mean, I can get a free meal out of it. Might as well. Y'all could have zero intentions on getting to know a man. And then get mad at him because he ditches you? Girl. This is why men are done dating. This is why. When they try to do things the right way, y'all take complete and total advantage of it. I'm pretty sure he saw right away. Oh, yeah, she don't like me. She's here for the food. She's here to try to, you know, get a free meal. I mean, after all, she did leave me on red all this time. She wasn't responding back to me, but I mean, she. She saw them oysters. She wanted those oysters. And so, yeah, she hit me up. And when you started ordering all that food, he peeped game instantly. Now, again, in my humble opinion, he should have peeped game when you were not responding to him in the DMs. But we're going to leave that over there. See, contrary to popular belief, men really do try to have faith in a lot of us women today. And again, y'all like the video, share the video, and subscribe, all right? Let's really break this down. Men do their best to have faith in women of today. They'll give us the benefit of the doubt. They'll go above and beyond to accommodate us, to try to get to know us. The issue is what we do in response. Men are only reacting to what we dish their ways. So let's go ahead and say this. Let's say he was like, okay, she kept leaving me on red in the DMs this whole time. But I don't know. Maybe she was busy. You know, maybe she was preoccupied. Maybe she had other things going on. So he probably did give her the benefit of the doubt. Again, contrary to popular belief, all these men don't want to do nothing. These men disrespect women. These men, these men, these men. But no, he still say, you know what? She left me on red this whole time. I'm still going to take her out. We're still going to go and get those drinks. We're still going to go ahead and try to get to know each other. But once he saw that you were more interested in the meal then establishing any kind of connection with him, he he was like, oh, okay, I see what this is. You're not even talking to me. This or this lady ordered like four plates of oysters. And then let's peep this too. She was recording. She was recording the whole time. Can you imagine that interaction? When you invite a woman out for drinks to get to know her, and then all she is doing is ordering all of this food and, and got her phone out recording, 
she couldn't possibly have been talking to this man because the whole time she's like, mm, so good. Mm, look at this. Ooh, these oysters. That that was the whole date. And she really got an attitude when he ditched her. You were not even talking to me. The whole time she's in her phone, slurping on oysters, talking about, mm, good, this so good. This is the dating scene today. This is what women do today. And again, y'all are really out here complaining about men don't court you. When they try to, you use them. Y'all can know deep in your heart of hearts, you don't like this man, you don't want this man, you see no future with this man, but hey, I'm hungry. He's, he, he's desperate in your eyes and you milk it. And again, that's pathetic and trash. If you see him in a lens of, oh, I think that he's corny or I think that he's desperate or I'm just not interested in him, leave him alone. Don't waste his time. That's, that's the extent of it. Just leave him alone. Don't waste his time. Don't just try to use and take advantage of him because when y'all do that, y'all have no idea the domino effects that you are creating. This could have been a very um, amazing man for a woman, right? Let's go there. And again, y'all like the video, real talk. This could have been a very amazing man for a young woman out there that genuinely wanted to get to know him and establish something. But who knows now how he feels about dating moving forward. Now he could be out here like, you know what? I'm not ever doing that again. I'm not going on dates because look at what I did. I did all of this. All to get ignored. Ignored and annoyed. Now, the next woman that genuinely did want to go for drinks to try to, you know, get somewhere. She's like, no, I'm not even going to even, I'm not going to take a chance on that. This is why men don't court you. This is why men don't marry you. This is why men don't date. Dates now are a waste of time. It's all perk and benefit for the woman and none at all for the man. You got to pay for everything. You got to go above and beyond for everything. And the chick probably don't even like you. Ain't that some trash? The chick probably don't even like you. And you had you got to go above and beyond for all of this. This is why men are only taking you for drinks. Let's go there for a second. So many women today are complaining about um, dates today being subpar and not up to their standard and men are just so cheap men are just so broke but hey hey man actually that would be you which is why you're trying to use him for a free meal in the first place but we're going to leave that over there all right all right see a lot of these chicks out here today are complaining about men Y'all don't put enough effort into the date. Y'all don't whine and dine no more. Y'all don't court us no more. Y'all don't go above and beyond no more. But that's because they have witnessed the fact that you can do all of that for these chicks. And these chicks have zero desire to be with you. They just want the experience. How many times have y'all heard that? Oh, I just wanted the experience of going out and the experience of being pampered and wined and dined, but I didn't really like him like that. This is why the dates got cheaper. Because I'd be damned if I do all of this and then I never even see this chick again. Chick don't even like me like that for real. She was just hungry and broke. Well, she wasn't broke because she still paid for her own meal, though. See, the issue is we just want a man to be able to do for us what we can do for ourselves. I heard all of that week before, okay? I heard all of it before, right? But the truth of the matter is y'all chicks are broke down and broken due to your mentality, the way that you maneuver in life. So, yeah, you can have some money in your pocket. Some of y'all do got a, a little bit of bread, right? But 
due to your character, you're impoverished, ma'am. And unfortunately, this is the climate. So no, it's not that men are broke. It's that they're no longer going to go above and beyond wasting their time and money and resources on females that don't even like them to begin with. For what? For what? It's all a finesse. As a matter of fact, let's take a poll. All right. And y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. Okay. Let's take a few polls. I want you all to place a one in the chat. If you've ever went above and beyond on a date, and I'm talking to my brothers because I know they're in the building. I want y'all to put a one in the chat if you've ever gone out on a date with a female and you went above and beyond for her and then come to find out she didn't even like you. Put a one. She just wanted to be friends. She didn't see you like that. Yet she knew it all along that she didn't see you like that and she was just looking to finesse and get over. Put a one. Put a two if you never even let it get that far. It's like, nah, I'm just not even going on dates at all in these times. But if it's happened to you before, I want y'all to put a one. And if we see a bunch of ones, that's because that's the dating world today with a lot of these chicks. It's all about how I can finesse, get over, and take advantage of whatever opportunities present themselves to me, even if I don't even like this dude. She even admitted it. She said, I had left him on red for weeks. <laughs> Tragic. I mean, let's, let's play it all the way through again. This is why men are not dating anymore. So today I linked with this nigga I met a few weeks ago out with my friends. This nigga been texting me for weeks talking to himself. Why I didn't block him? <laughs> Bitch, I don't know. But today I was bored and I had time. So he texts me like, can we meet for drinks? And I'm Did y'all hear that? She said, but today I was bored. I left him on red for weeks. Why I didn't block this ninja? I don't know. But girl, I'm going to take advantage today. This is the dating scene. And y'all wonder why men are done with y'all. Men are doing the bare minimum for, for dates. Y'all are trash. Ugh. I'm like, yeah, meet me here. They got the best fucking oysters in Atlanta, like, hands down. So I'm like, yes, I can get some content. Come on. I'm so good. So she's using him for not only a free date for, for lunch and, and, you know, food and drinks, right? But also for content that's the dating world today for women oh uh, i'm just going on the date for the experience and so i can get some content mm -hmm. and in the process i'm gonna get a free meal too mm -hmm. i really don't even like him i left him on red but i might as well get some free content free food free, free drinks a free experience just trash <laughs> Oh my god. Disgusting man. Can y'all imagine just hearing all of that slurping and burping and everything that she's doing? Talking about, ooh, this so good. While you're trying to talk to her and get to know her. How annoying and irritating would that be? Girl, I wouldn't even went to the bathroom. I would have been like, have a nice night. I, I, I would just, I just would have walked off. I would have gave no excuse. I would have left you and your damn oysters to it, ma'am. That's what I, I would have did. You know. And this is sidebar, but I'm going to go ahead and say it anyway. Ladies, be careful eating all this seafood and all of this crap. Because I can just imagine, okay, 
you know, we got to be careful about the things that we are consuming and putting into our bodies because they can come out in odors and, you know, smells. And so you're out here eating, you know, four plates of a dozen of oysters, just slurping and burping them down. Like, ma'am, I don't know. I, I just don't know. You got to be careful with eating all your seafood, ladies. Like, it can come out in other areas, and we just ain't got time. Make sure you're drinking your water, eating your fruits, or drinking your fruits and vegetables with smoothies, whatever. But, yeah, let's be careful with all the, you know, oysters and fish and shrimps. And let's just be careful with that. That's just a little sidebar for y'all. But, yeah, can you imagine hearing this? <laughs> <laughs> y'all when the fourth one came out he was looking at me crazy i didn't give a fuck clearly clearly she said this is her this was her fourth plate and this was her fourth she she drizzling hot sauce just mm, so good And y'all want men to treat you like a prize. Y'all want men to respect you and treat you like a lady and you don't even act like one. It's my, I don't, I don't give a ill. Yeah, he looking at me crazy when I ordered the fourth, the, the fourth plate of oysters. I ain't getting no ill. Trash. I'm like, baby, you invited me out. I'm gonna eat and I was coming anyway. But I ain't gonna lie. No, I wouldn't have did all that, but I did do all that. That was so good. I was not expecting it to be that good. It was just so good. Like, I just, I had to. It was so good. So after that, I'm like, baby, what's next? What I'm about to eat? These potatoes. She said, what's next? What I'm about to eat. Girl, you just slurped down four plates of a dozen oysters with hot sauce and lemon juice then you talking about some mm, what i'm about to eat what's next and then you order potatoes and crab cakes and you wonder why he walked out on you are you serious the whole time you grubbing you're not even talking to i i, I just need y'all to really understand why men are done dating y'all you really thought you're gonna get this off <laughs> Mm, they were so good in the crab cakes. Everything was so good. 10, 10, baby. Why the fuck this bitch ass nigga say he going to the bathroom and never come back? <laughs> the fuck? I'm like, hold the fuck on. It's been like 10, 20, 30 minutes, bitch. What the fuck this nigga ate? I had to end up grabbing a tab, bitch. Nigga left me with his little one fucking drink. Yeah, bitch. I'm so glad, bitch. Keep me some money. Because what? That was crazy to me. And I said, bitch, you run out on the tab. He's talking about, I'm offering you to drink. What the fuck are you talking about, bitch? There you have it. Men are done dating because it's pointless. It's useless. It leads nowhere. Um... Females today are trash and pathetic, and they're just looking to um, capitalize, finesse, and get over, manipulate, and destroy. And yeah, I hate that because, again, it's real quality women out there that wouldn't do that. But hey, this is what we're dealing with. Okay, so don't be surprised when dates become obsolete altogether or they become very cheap. Because men are no longer making these huge investments into females that have no interest. No pun intended, but that was still a bar. Anyway, you all, y'all let me know how y'all feel about this. Um, have you experienced something like this before? I asked you all earlier. I look forward to seeing you all's feedback down below. Um, but yeah, um, the dating scene is trash today and that's why men are done with you all. Um, they see that you all really don't like them like that and they refuse, uh, to be taken advantage of. Okay. That's a wrap. You know, that happened back in the day. It's a new breed of men. They see right through y'all antics. They see right through y'all tactics and they are just not dealing with it. Okay. But, um, I love y'all. I support y'all. I'll see y'all in the next dope discussion. Uh, feel free to email me 
at dmariepoet at gmail.com. If you have any topic suggestions, any links, and if it's dope enough, we will turn it into a dope discussion. All right. But uh, I'll see y'all next time. Much love and peace to my crown heads.